Hey guys! Mira is sleeping over at my house tonight and we are hungry so we are going to order some pizza. So we are going to tell you guys all about Japanese pizza. Yay! Yay! We made a video before for Mira's channel about ordering pizza over the phone but there's actually another way that you can do it so we will show you how. So for those of you that aren't comfortable with using Japanese on the phone, um, all the pizza companies have a form where you can order your pizza online so that's what I'm going to do today. So you click this button. And then you can choose today, or you can order pizza for like a week in advance. I don't know why you do that, but whatever. So I'll click that one. It looks like they are busy at the moment, so we're gonna have to wait until 9 p.m. to order our pizza. Um, so we will click this button. And now we can choose what we want. They have some pretty interesting pizza flavors in Japan. Let's see if I can find Oh, here's one. Cheese and honey. I've never seen that before. I don't think I would ever order it. It doesn't sound that bad, but it sounds like something that you'd get tired of after a few slices. Mm, these ones all look pretty normal. Teriyaki chicken. This one's pretty good. Hotate bata shoyu. What's hotate in Ah, uh, I don't know. I forgot. Oh, I always forget that word. I will put subtitles. <laughs> Mentaiko. Fish eggs. Fish egg pizza in Japan. Shrimp and mayonnaise. And one other cool thing that Japan does is they split pizzas into like four different flavors. So you can try four different flavors of pizza all in one. We have decided on this one. It is called the Gets Pizza because you get everything on it. This pizza comes with cheese, cheese, onion, green pepper, corn, mushrooms, pepperoni, garlic, bacon, large bacon, sausage, black pepper, parsley, it sounds really good. So for a medium size, it's 2,460 yen, and this is the large price. And pizzas in Japan are very small, so probably the large pizza would be like a medium in Canada or America. So this is more like a small pizza size, but since it's pretty expensive, we're just gonna get the medium. Choose your size. And you can choose the kind of crust you want. So a thin crust, this is crust where it doesn't have like a, um, a crust on the edge, so the cheese goes right to the edge, and then regular crust. Gucci. Regular? Yeah, that's one I always get to. And I am a Kain, so I get a 5% off. So if you have like a registered account on the website, then you get a discount right now. It's only until July 7th. This is just a special though. Yay! And another thing that's awesome about getting pizza in Japan is you always get like a free gift with it and it's always something Pokemon. I can get a Pokemon glass bowl. Um, you two are Pikachu. Let's go with Pikachu. Yay! Free Pokemon goods. This is awesome. I'm so excited. Ta-da! Our pizza has arrived. This time it took like over an hour for it to get here because it was pretty busy, it looked like, and we had to choose a time like after an hour. But normally it takes about 30 minutes to 40 minutes to get here. I find it takes a little longer than it did in Canada. So this is a medium-sized pizza. See, this would definitely be a small in America or Canada. Delivery pizza. Lots of people said on my video that it's so expensive, but you know, that's delivery pizza only. In the stores, you can buy frozen pizza for a dollar yeah. or three dollars <laughs> at the most. Yeah. So that is really yeah. cheap. Like in Canada, what? How much is it in BC? In Ontario, it's like pizza, eight dollars. Yeah. yeah. Ta da! This is what I was looking forward to more than the pizza itself. This is my free gift. Yay. Let us open it. Oh, it's so cute. It is a Pikachu bowl. Oh, it's so adorable. Only in Japan would you get a free Pokemon bowl with your pizza. That is awesome. Oh, yeah. Spicy pizza. Itadakimasu! Mmm. Mmm. That's good. <laughs> I feel like Japanese pizza is really fresh and you can really taste the vegetables. Like, see how the mushrooms are like giant and the tomatoes are really big? I feel like they put more emphasis on the vegetables than they do on the cheese. In Canada, there'll be like a huge layer of cheese and you don't really find that on Japanese pizza. It's a lot less cheese and a lot more topping, but I like it. It makes it a lot more flavorful. 
So that is Japanese pizza. I hope you guys learned something. Basically, it's a little more expensive if you want to order delivery, and it's smaller, but it tastes pretty much the same. Less cheesy, more toppings, um, but it's pretty good. So if you have any more questions about Japanese pizza, leave me a comment. Thanks for watching. See you guys. Bye. Bye bye.